Today I wanted to show you how to turn on the Symbology identifier for any type of Symbology that you're scanning. Each different type of barcode Symbology type has its own unique identifier and there are certain cases such as barcode concatenation or barcode parsing where you'll want to go ahead and turn on this identifier during your read. So let's dive right in here. Using this barcode on the left, you can see that it just says hello. And this is a code 128 barcode, but you may or may not know that by just looking at it. So there could be a case where you want to know exactly what type of barcode this is. And so what you can do is turn on the identifier and actually test that out and it'll give you the unique identifier for a code 128. But for now I'm going to go ahead and scan this simple hello barcode that I have here on the left. And you can see it just simply reads hello as it should. Now if we go ahead and enter down to the next few lines here, we're going to turn on the symbology identifier and you'll see the difference. And so what you want to do is go back to the home screen or make sure that you're at the home screen, select the app gallery, and then select settings. And then starting from the top here, you'll notice the bluish green font and that's the different categories that you're looking at. In this case, we're looking at wireless and networks. And so we're gonna scroll down until we see Honeywell settings. Okay, and there it is. And then in our Honeywell settings, we're gonna keep scrolling down until we find scanning, which is right there. And then we're gonna go to the internal scanner and then assuming you haven't created any additional profiles, you're going to select the default profile. All right, and then from here, you're going to go to data processing settings. And inside of the data processing settings, you're going to scroll down until you find this symbology prefix. And by default, it is set to none. So go ahead and click on that. And you have three options here. AIM is the one that you're going to want to select. So go ahead and select AIM and hit the home button to go back to home and we're going to open up Google Chrome again so I can get back to my online notepad. All right, so now that we have the cursor here in the online notepad, I'm going to scan that same barcode again and this time we should see a leading identifier before the word hello. And we do, so you can see a square bracket C0 and that is the specific identifier to any code 128 barcode. So it doesn't matter what's inside of the code 128 barcode as long as it is code 128, that identifier would be a bracket C0. Again, this is very useful for barcode parsing and a few other instances as well, but I do hope that this helps you find out where to turn on the AIM identifier for all of your barcode types.